Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I mean, I'm so grateful for all the love and support that I've received from you guys this year. We hit 10K on Christmas day. Like that was legit the best present you guys could have given me for the year 2020. So thank you so much. I made a small announcement on my community, so be sure to check it out. And if it's your first time on this channel, my name is Vanessa. I make natural hair videos, lots of DIY for natural hair. So if this kind of content interests you, be sure to click the subscribe button and join the family. In today's video guys, I want to show you how you can make a spray that you can spray on your hair overnight to help promote hair growth. I've been using this spray for some time now and I've definitely noticed a massive improvement in my hair and I thought I would share it with you guys. So if you're interested, be sure to stick around and watch till the end of the video. Now we are going to need some hibiscus leaves. Now I get mine from Whole Foods. Um, they are available on Amazon as well. So I will find a link for you guys and put it in the description box in case you want to buy it from there. Um, you can just click on the link. So essentially you want to pour some dry hibiscus leaves in a bowl and then add some hot water just to allow it to release the nutrients that it's got, okay? Um, so hibiscus is actually really, really good for hair growth because it stops hair fall, it makes your hair look healthy, it prevents premature growing, uh, thickens hair and adds volume, it treats downdraft, you know, conditions the hair against freeze, dryness and breakage and also prevents split ends, which is actually amazing, you know, especially if you're trying to retain length. So I love using hibiscus because of this benefit. So I'll suggest that you, perhaps if you're not using it already that you consider incorporating it into your hair regimen now the second ingredient we are going to need is aloe vera you guys know how much i love aloe vera i use it in pretty much all of my diys i've been using it for years now and i've definitely seen a massive improvement in my hair basically how it feels and also in the length so it's definitely something that's worth considering incorporating into your routine if you're not already doing that now aloe vera is great because it contains vitamin a c and e and these are vitamins that help contribute to cell turnover so essentially it helps promote healthy cell growth and shiny hair it also contains vitamin b12 and folic acid which are basically the two components that are great at preventing your hair from falling out so if you do suffer from you know constant shedding of your hair constant breakage aloe vera is definitely the one that you need to consider so you want to cut a small portion of the aloe vera that you have and then uh, we scoop the gel out of it and then blend it okay you can use a hand blender just like i'm doing here or a normal blender if you don't have the actual plant you can get the gel like you know from the store or amazon uh, but just make sure that you know it's 100 percent pure um, so once I've blended that guys, I'm now going ahead to strain it. I'm using a tea towel and I'm just pouring the mixture on it. The reason why I'm straining it is basically just to prevent some aloe vera pieces or debris basically to get stuck in my hair. Um, so you can strain it using a stocking cap or anything pretty much. So pour that on there and then make a ball and then squeeze it. That's basically how you get rid of the a uh, debris that you don't really want in your hair. So this is basically what is left behind. So that's what would have got stuck in your hair if you did not strain it, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and strain the hibiscus as well. Um, because we just want the juice be pretty much so again use the same tea towel or a different one it's up to you really and just pour that back on there and then um, repeat the exact same thing to strain it pretty much Okay guys, so this is what the hibiscus looks like afterwards. You don't need to throw that away. You can just keep it for your next DIY. You can use that to make a deep conditioning mask 
um because hibiscus is just really moisturizing as well um so i decided to just keep mine in the fridge and i'll use it next time so it stirred that all in together and that's basically what it looks like a very rich red color pretty much the next ingredient we're going to need is coconut oil i'm using organic virgin coconut oil which i got from my food store but again you can find it on amazon i'll find a link for you guys so don't worry just check the description box coconut oil is really really good because it can help grow your hair longer by moisturizing the hair and reducing breakage and also protects the hair from protein loss and damage when it's wet and also protects your hair from environmental damage like wind sun and smoke so coconut oil is just great pretty much now the other ingredient is castor oil i'm using jamaican black castor oil and again jamaican black castor oil has been shown to make the roots of our hair stronger and also prevent hair fall and also is capable of stimulating hair growth from dormant follicles so castor oil is just great for that as well so it's something that's perhaps worth incorporating as well if you're not already doing into your hair regimen now i put all of that together and i decided to put it in a bowl with hot water in it just to melt the uh, coconut oil um you can actually pop this in the microwave if you want for a few seconds um but i just didn't want to oxidize any of the nutrients in the oil so i usually just do it this way it's a bit long-winded i know but i prefer it this way just because i'm able to retain all of the nutrients you know in the oils without causing damage to them so it took me about a few minutes to actually melt this it wasn't really long in all honesty so once that that's all melted you now want to take that out of the um, hot water and just let it sit for a while or you can just use it immediately as well Now we're going to go ahead and add our essential oils. So I'm adding tea tree oil here. You can add any other essential oil of your choice. You know, it could be rosemary oil, basically anything. So I just added a few drops there. I don't know how many guys because this one doesn't come out as well. And then the other one that I added is peppermint um, essential oil. And again, essential oils are just great guys at also, um, you know, promoting hair growth. So this is just a great mixture as a whole. Now, after I've done that, I now poured it back into the hibiscus and aloe vera mixture and just stir that in nicely. Now I'm going to transfer it into a glass just because it's, it will be easier for me to transfer it into my spray bottle. Um, so you don't necessarily need to do this if it's easier for you to just transfer it directly from you know from the bowl into the spray bottle that you're going to use there you have it guys so i just popped the lid back on and that's pretty much it ready to use ready to apply to your hair so um, i'm going to show you now how i apply this to my hair um but it's very simple and straightforward but i just thought i would introduce this clip just in case you know someone is not sure about what to do or how to apply it i'm starting here by just putting a towel over my shoulders just because i don't want to get the hibiscus in my clothes um it can actually stain but the stain does come out so as you're applying this you will find that your hands your hands are turning red in color and then it starts to darken a little bit but when you wash it it's absolutely fine so i'm starting with the back of my hair here guys you can see that my hair is actually pretty dry at the moment um so it does need a little bit of you know that extra moisture so the first thing that i'm doing is just finger detangling um when you're finger detangling on dry hair just be a little bit careful so you don't end up snapping your hair so be a bit patient as well pretty much once i'm done with that guys i'm now going to go ahead with the mixture and start spraying it onto my hair so i start with my ends because that's the oldest and the driest part of my hair and then i work my way through to the roots now our hair grows from our scalp so if you're applying this mixture you want to make sure that you apply it to your scalp because like I said, that's where our hair grows from. And also you're able to nourish your hair from, from, from the roots pretty much. So apply that there, massage it in. Scalp massages is just great for promoting hair growth because it just increases you know, blood circulations around that area. 
um, so I would usually just massage my scalp every time I do anything to it like if I'm applying oil or or you know leaving conditioner or anything like that so and then once I'm done with that I'm now going to massage the rest of the mixture onto the rest of my hair and then after that you now want to go ahead and comb it through now water and oil don't mix very well so you'll find that you know the oil that we put in this mixture might end up sitting at the top of your mixture so it's always better that you shake the mixture a little bit before you actually use it um, or you can just keep it in a slightly warm place in the house before you go ahead and use it as well so just to make sure that the coconut oil we have in it doesn't actually um, get hard so it's you know coconut oil is liquid when it's warm and it's hard when it's cold so that's why keeping this mixture perhaps a few hours before you use it in a warm place of the, of the house we just maintain it liquid pretty much so once i finish uh doing that i'm you know combing my hair i'm now twisting that part um just to keep the moisture in it now i'm moving on to the next section here and i'm pretty much repeating the exact same thing until the rest of my hair is completely done once I'm done with that guys I'm going ahead and twisting it again I finished my hair off camera because it was going to be a long video otherwise if I had to show you the whole my, my whole head pretty much um, so this is it for me today thank you so much for watching as always if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already subscribed for more videos and I'll catch you in my next video so take care bye